Hello and welcome back to uh, Let's Watch Gary from Watch Out Fireballs and Bonfire Side Chat play Dark Souls. Um, very astute watchers will notice that I'm not where I left off. I left off in Sen's Fortress. I'm now over here. The reason being is I'm trying to get a better video quality, so I recorded a short video um, to send to Cole, in which I went and got the Shrug Jester. That's all I did. Um, there's been a slight change of plans. I was going to make an early run to the catacombs um, in order to get a fire weapon, but I don't really want a fire weapon. I have a plus five longbow. Um, that is going to turn into a divine weapon for taking out skeletons. Um, and that'll be a fun challenge, having to you know land the killing blow on those skeletons with, that, with a bow and arrow, I think. Um, and then if I can't do it, I'll just go get the necromancer or what have you. Um, and then I'm going to take my t plus 10 compound bow, which doesn't have good scat, stat, scat scaling, scat scaling, stat scaling, um, and turn that into a lightning longbow for enemies that are, you know, weak against lightning. And then for my main weapon, which is just going to be my plus 10 or whatever, is going to be the black bow of Ferris, which I figured I would go get now, which means going and fighting the Hydra and, uh, doing all of that stuff. So I am not too, uh... Too weak for fighting the Hydra at this point. Um, so yeah, slight change of plans. Um, you know, I was gonna go, and I, yeah, maybe after this, like the next episode, I will feel like going to the catacombs just to spice things up again a bit. Man, I'm not speaking well today. Um, just to spice things up a little bit because uh, you know, Anna Orlando is tough, and uh, at this point, I don't feel like I am. So, am I equipped with my, yeah, composite bow plus 10? I think even with the stat scaling, I think this is doing more damage than the longbow. Longbow is doing, like, about, you know, rough 210. This is doing 260 or so, so. But once that longbow is plus 10, um, or once it's a lightning longbow, rather, it's going to do more damage. And then black bow of Ferris, excellent range, and uh, S stat scaling in, uh, in dexterity, so every point of dex will become a minor miracle. I also want to go kill the Hydra so I can uh, just get some souls from him. Um, because since I spend so much on upgrade materials, uh, I want to level up a couple more times. And then I also want some more upgrade materials because I'm going to need some some large shards to upgrade my uh, my black bow of Ferris. So I'd really like to get that to plus 10 before I go to Anor Londo. And hey, maybe I'll go crazy and do a run into New Londo Ruins actually and get the, uh, the very large ember. And that'll be how I tackle Anor Londo. More or less, I'm not going to do Anor Londo um, for a little bit just because I think it's a hard area. And I'm terrified of doing it with this, with a with bow damage. Okay, I'm actually doing pretty good damage to these guys. When I did, did my sorcerer playthrough and I had my magic weapon, this was excruciating um, fighting these things. It just took forever. I'd probably go stay at that bonfire over there because I could die on my way up to the Hydra, but we'll just go ahead and live dangerously. Because some of these landings are desperate adventures. Um, also, the other nice thing about getting the Black Bow of Ferris is I'm going to get that real cool Archer hat, which I really like the hood I'm wearing right now. I don't know if I'm going to wear the Archer hat, but it's a it's a sharp looking sharp looking hat. Probably won't look very good when I'm hollow. Hello. And oh, I'm a little bit hardier than I may have thought. I thought that maybe would kill me, but not quite. So I need to draw out that uh, crystal golem. I don't know if I can hit him from here with my this range. I can alert him. Oh yeah.
I mean, I do want to go to Anna Orlando because I'm going to get the Eagle Ring, which is a huge, huge boon. But, uh, yeah. So much to do, man. So if you've never uh, fought the Hydra before, this is kind of the, the way to approach him as if you go from over here and time it out right. When he shoots, it'll probably go under, or you'll probably go under it. And you just kind of run right at him and kind of hope that, that did work. And then face forward, shield up. There's like, well, I'm going to be killing him with a bow and arrow, but I believe I'm going to be if I can hit him. Gonna take a while, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oops. Um, mind that ledge there. It's very easy to fall off of that. Three shots seems about what I can. a little bit closer here. So if you don't actually hit any heads, like I'm hitting heads, there's making them fall off, but if you don't actually hit any heads, I think that he'll just dissolve as is. So this is the back way into where uh, Sif is at and where the uh, ultimate my, my black fuck. <laughs> that was bad. As was that. Those forest ghosts in uh, in that area are gonna be tough. Consider that. Um, I'm gonna be approaching from the other way too, which means I'm not gonna be able to use that exploit. I don't have that. That's But yeah, see, so he dies with several. Oh, no heads left. Maybe his heads. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Dust crown ring increases magic. This is the knight set. I'm just gonna grab that in case I end up doing any weird mixery matchery. Um, rescuing dusk right now. Do I need to do that? Um, and she's a solid bro. Um, she does sell the, uh, what is my intelligence? Nine. I wanted to raise that. I don't know what I actually need to raise it to to use any sorceries. I was thinking about using some utility sorceries, but maybe I'll just stick with rings for all my stuff. Um, speaking of which, what rings am I using now? Okay, wolf ring. Um... Yeah, if that golem is over here, but if I restart, it's going to actually restart the video and make it a second video. Um, and I think I'm going to have to restart to get that golem to, to show up over here. I'm not going to do that, because I don't know how to edit videos together. Because as previous, yeah, there's no golem over there, so I'm not going to do it now. Um, frame rate was kind of dipping there for a little bit. And it's climbing back up, so... Something about this area the game didn't like. I wonder what it is. Um, I think I can get invaded now that I'm over here to you. This whole thing is maybe not the best idea <laughs> that I've ever had. Now that I think about it. Um, I've got the, those boss souls from the Hydra. It might be worth putting on a Ring of Sacrifice. Um, oh, I can definitely be invaded on here. Fuck. And it's the forest, so I will get invaded. Um, do I want to fight, fight Sif? And then I can't get invaded. What am I doing? This this whole thing is a bad idea. I might just homeward bone out of here. This is stupid. Um, I thought I thought this through. But uh, I'm going to ready the homeward bone. Um, I can make those 
fandom to not attack me by talking. If I join the Covenant, they won't attack me, actually. And I can't be invaded. And then I have to kill Ferris first. Ferris first. And pick up her items and then Homer bone out. Will that work? Um, if that's what I try to do, I'm probably going to put on a ring of uh, sacrifice in order to try that. I don't think there's anything over there. Right. Game's getting framey. Oh no, this brings me up into there, which is where I don't want to be yet. I want to approach from the other way so I can join the Covenant. So I don't get invaded. So that means I'm going to have to deal with cats. Here, but the cats cannot go into the woods. Right there, whole thing. Um, I usually try to take them out on the other side of the woods. But I don't know if that's gonna that's gonna happen this time. That's a pretty cool him coming out of the darkness like that. That's never happened to me. Long on to him, dude. I just hope I don't get invaded. I'm gonna use trees to protect you. So yeah, this is the the safe way of taking care of these things. Um, and if you, if you wanted to go fight them legitimately, you know, with honor and stuff, uh, there's three of them, and they will 3v1 you um, without hesitation. So pretty much a huge pain in the dick to fight fair. I think I've attracted the attention of the other ones. Actually, now that just saved. I might be being invaded. Let's throw on... Our ring of sacrifice. We have two of them. I'm not too worried about it. Hey guys. No, no. I want to play. Come on, you gigantic roars. If I wanted to, I could farm some mushroom people for some gold pine resin. That's not how I play. I could go get the enchanted uh, ember, which is actually very cool. I've done a sorcerer playthrough. I never use the magic weapon before that and uh you know stat scaling is stat scaling so having a good weapon as a sorcerer was really useful yeah they do not like these trees So the trick is going to be to get through that forest without being invaded. Get to, uh, I, there actually is an invisible wall there, I didn't realize that. Um, get to, um, Alvina and join her crew. Which I kind of want to do anyway, I always end up, uh, killing that ninja for the, the ninja ring. Um, I don't think ninja flips are very archer-like, I'm not going to use them, but I kind of want to actually do their get them to appear in Blight Town, which I've never done. Um, so if I do get invaded, I am going to uh, stick it out and try to fight it out, because I have that Ring of Sacrifice on, and all I lose is some time. And to me, that will be a sign that I at least need to come here hollowed. Because even with uh, what I'm trying to do, like even under ideal circumstances, there's no guarantee this is going to work. Um, that's actually the swimming pool with the big mushrooms. I want to not draw their aggro if I can help it. Are these flowers or souls? Okay. thought maybe there's some items over there that I've never gotten before. Okay. The mushroom kingdom is still at peace. I'm just watching. I can't really hear so I can't listen for the invasion noise. I'm just watching my uh, the flame in the upper right there. 
So I joined the Covenant. I shouldn't be able to get invaded. And these guys shouldn't fight me. Yes is the answer if you want to join it. Even though she uses tons of double negatives and such. Yep, I'll be in your Covenant. I'll take your ring. I guess I'm going to ruin being in the Covenant anyway because I'm going to kill uh, Ferris. Or kill the person, the ghost that's wearing Ferris's stuff, I guess. Okay. Yep. We don't betray people. And he, Shiva's there. And this guy is not, should not be aggroed. Yes. Okay. So there's that cleric there. This is going to be like a surgical strike. Um, there's a knight over by this Ferris that I'm hoping just not to run into. There he is. Hey, bro. That's Ferris. Okay. So... I really need to try to get in and out as quickly as possible here. No, backstab. 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 Oh my god, the knight's aggroed. I have like one hit point. She just shot me in the face. Oh, this sucks. This is not going well. an arch off, is it? And that does it for me. Fuck. Alright. I'm pretty sure that will kill my covenant status. I don't want to go request absolution. Oh, and I didn't rest until I was over here. Well, shit. I almost have enough for the covenant of Artorias. Or the, uh, the key of Artorias or what have you. Make a big difference. Did I lose being hollow? Am I human again? Yeah, I'm still human. Um, what to do? I really like to get my endgame bow. I don't want to grind for souls, though. Do I have consumable souls? How much is a soul of a large brave warrior worth? Oh. Well, that does it. Take two. We're going to actually try to clear out that forest. I was trying to avoid buying this thing, buying the Crest of Artorias, because good item, but, you know, it's a convenience item. Like, you, you can get to that area the way I did it, but this will be worth it to get my, my end boss bow, my, or my end game bow. If that backstab would have worked out, what, I mean, what was I doing wrong with that backstab? I feel like that would have done it with you know, backstab multiplier and gold pine resin. That probably would have taken care of it. But, uh, um, something interesting I learned. So I was doing some research about bows. Um, you know, just, just researching about bows. But um, in the game. And I was looking at, uh, you know, archer builds. And people, like, ask whether it's plausible. But I haven't seen, like, people really do it um, online. I'm sure someone's done it. I'm not saying that no one's done it, but... The, uh, one of the things I was looking about, looking at, is to see if the um, what's the name of the ring, the Leo ring, works with it to boost uh, piercing damage, and apparently it does, according to the internet. So I'm going to, for the first time in my Dark Souls career, try to kill uh, Smo first um, when I get to, you know, Oreos and S'mores. My uh, my idea for doing that is to, I mean, if I, have, if I end up summoning a human, I'll just tell them what I want. But just to hope that, um, like, if I just start attacking, it seems like, um, what's his head? Solaire seems to have some AI to the effect that he will go after 
you know, who you're not going after. So if I just start going after Smo first, but then I'll be fighting Super Ornstein for the first time in my playthrough. Um, so you'll be able to see that. And I'm thinking with bow and arrows, it actually won't, it'll be actually be a really good build for him. I just stand back, dodge his lightning. And, uh, and I could be wrong. I've been wrong plenty of times before. You think I don't see you? I see all. Yep, I'm cheesing it. So. Um, with the knights, like, they're just, they are very powerful. So. I just do not want to, uh. Don't want to get one shotted. Um, I see all those summon signs there, which makes me think I could definitely get invaded. Um, please do the jump off the cliff. Don't spam magic missiles at me. All right. Well, if one of them was going to uh, to fight me, I'm glad it's this one. Because he's not too bad. is just like a hotbed for PvP. Like, people just go here when they want to, like, you know, I could summon this guy and we could just wait for people to invade us and have a grand old time with it. But I don't really want to do that. There's a thief somewhere out here wearing a fog ring. That's one of the people I had to look out for. Let's go ahead and just aggro the cleric now. Hopefully he follows me back to the spot. Well, I can actually fight the cleric fair. That's, he's not too bad. Still a little bit worried about being invaded, but fighting the cleric fair is... It's penance for not fighting that fucking barbarian fair, who definitely can one-shot me. Or bandit, I guess, is what he is. That didn't backstab right. I really should be using my dagger if I'm trying for backstabs. Has that quick interrupt too. Buddy. Look, you're using a wooden shield. There's nothing I can do for you. That is nauseating. There we go. Oh hey. Someone did invade. Well, at the very least, this will kill my humanity. So where is a uh, dark spirit? This won't work. Let's see if pancakes works. Well, I'll get 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 a bro to help me out. That's right. I got forlorn pancakes on my side. He's kind of like cosplaying as like Nordum from Planescape Torment. Yeah, here we go. Yay! Hey! Alright. Let's see if this guy can help me get a... Uh, Get Ferris's hat. Forlorn pancakes. If you're watching this, which you probably won't, um, but I'll, I'll message you and uh, and let you know what's going on. Thank you. I'm an archer. But yeah, I'm gonna message Forlorn. I guess I am gonna get that ring. And uh, tell him to uh, check out the podcast. Okay, buddy. 
You are part of something bigger than yourself now. Thank you. Hey! Alright. I love this guy. Nick, uh, my good buddy Nick, who's going to be on the show, he goes by Pancakes. Uh, Nick Pancakes. I didn't think about using PvP to my advantage. Oh shit, forlorn. No. <laughs> Dark spirit, something invaded. This guy's glitching out like crazy. Dark Spirit's gonna get me. Right now. Man, that, uh, the knight's really making this complicated. No. Oh, I thought I was dead. It keeps kicking me. I don't like this guy as much as his crossbow hands. Oh, he's throwing things at me. That's what's happening here. garden. I didn't get him to jump off this cliff. That's right. That's right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna give me the well, what is it? Is he gonna dick out on me? Nope. Okay. Well, let's try doing that without any people. <laughs> uh, good PvP. So some of these guys in here respawn, some of them don't. Not human now, though, so I should be able to take everybody out. I've definitely done that a few times. Okay, he actually sees me. I do want my blood stain pretty badly, so. Oh man. And that is why I'm healing right there. Look, friend, I don't want to aggro any of your friends. So any size tree will act as a... I get that blood stain. Act as a uh, block magic missiles, I guess. So I didn't break your stamina. You are in like the wrong place for this, dude. It is a forest. This is for archers, not mages. So, die, die, die! I got my covenant money back, or my crest of Artorias money back, so. That's pretty good. So it's going to be the, still to be that knight's going to be over here somewhere, though. So I have a lot of these guys to take out. The barbarian is the hardest, followed by the knight with uh, with the ferris ghost. I don't know if that's supposed to actually be ferris. 
Um, and pretty safe, safe assumption, but. What? Oh, the thief! I forgot about the thief. So I can get these guys AI to fuck them over while I heal up. I don't think that thief uh, respawns. Oh shit. Okay, he got his drop attack on me. But took care of another one. As long as I can keep getting my bloodstains, I'm gonna come out of this with a lot of money to upgrade this bow, so that's really cool. That doesn't seem to work very well. Like kicking him just puts him too far out of my range to like do anything. Should probably try to parry this guy. He doesn't do that much damage. Looks easy to parry. Heal. Ugh, fucker. All right, come here. Come here, asshole. You're gonna hit me with the the talisman? was probably a good parry. What are you doing? Come on. I'm not gonna go fight your friends. Nobody wants to hang out with your friends, dude. <sighs> Why are you being such a dick? Give me your backside. It's cool. All right, I need to bait him into attacking. Here, attack me. Oh, well, not like that. <laughs> attack me the way I can do. The mechanics of what ends up becoming a backstab in this game, I do not always know. Please heal, by all means. All right, so I'm all out of Estes last. This is fucking dumb. And I have to go further into the forest here now in order to, uh, to draw out more guys. Well, that sucks. But, so I think Thiefy I dealt with on this run. I really wanna draw Barbarian is over there. I think I might be able to avoid drawing him out. Old Snoop Knight Knight. Suge Knight somewhere over here. Unless that knight doesn't respawn. Oh yeah, he does. me. Come back out. Don't lose aggro. I 
told you not to lose aggro. Buddy. See how fun that is? You can buy that sword just to walk with it and block, did ya? No, he bought it to fall down. Okay. So Ferris is now my girl. I'm going to try to avoid aggroing that barbarian. I'm going to kill Ferris, get my weapon, level up, a, or go uh, upgrade it a bunch of times, and that will be this video. With any luck. I can sneak up on her good. I'm just doing this because it's pretty important that I get this bow. I don't feel like doing this again. No. Can't do a drop attack from there. Uh, it's going to be a fair fight, is it? Oh, fuck you. Um... If anybody knows why I can't like actually sneak up, I should have probably uh, lighting resin the the Baldur sword. If anybody knows why I can't like sneak up on these phantoms, please let me know or backstab them if that's like a known thing or if I'm just suck. There, that's very good. Don't try to lead me into plants. Glad she didn't just parry me there. Or even counterattack, really. There we are. Thank fucking goodness, right? Uh, I mean, definitely worth it, but it's probably not worth wasting a homeward bone on. Actually, those are like famous last words, and homeward bones are cheap. So, we'll try it. We'll go ahead and use it. Okay. Did not want to risk running to a tree. Having him aggro, you know, or get another tree on my case. And then just kind of a snowball effect. Well, that was thrilling, right? Yeah, that was a pretty fun, fun little excursion. Like this next little bit. Is more for my benefit than yours, this whole getting it upgraded and stuff, but that was fun. Had that uh, Pancake Master or what have you um, helped me out. Pancake Fan 99. Um, solid bro. Definitely going to give him a message of love from the podcast. Um, the guy that invaded me, whose name I can't remember because I'm I have no attention span. Uh, you know, that guy fought honorably. Um, I, you know, I summoned help for that first guy. That might not have been honorably, but the second guy, it was a good fight. If he, uh, if he didn't have that phantom on him, I think I might have been able to take him. Um, but, yeah. All in all, I think the guy at, uh, Sun's Fortress sells small shards as well. So, now the only trick is to get to the Sun's Fortress shortcut without dying, which sounds easy. I fucked it up before. Let's hope that I don't this time. I feel pretty good about that. Oh, and uh, well, that actually looks fucking ridiculous. Um, 
I probably won't use that. I probably will stick with the hood. I'm a dark archer. If I end up getting any more fanciful clothes, I might switch to the Ferris's hat for sure. And I might have enough souls to actually upgrade my uh, Balder side sword as well, which I would like to upgrade um, since, you know, I'm going to have to use melee weapons in this game, whether I like it or not. I'm going to be fishing for backstab, so I want the knife. The butt knife. Move from pitch. Yeah, it's such a, like, clearly a knife going up a butt. Beat this guy out. Whoops. And the real Dark Soul starts here. And this person will shoot lightning at you while you're riding the shortcut. <clears throat> I should probably try to be human more often. Like, getting invaded, like I said, I can't edit out those runs back up to get my souls. And, like, I don't like losing souls. But it does add, like, a nice factor of, like, unpredictability. Which I think makes for a pretty fun, fun video experience, you know? Um... Let's see what I have in the way of these. So I have one Titanite shard and one large Titanite shard. So I think I need eight of each. I'm not certain I can afford that, but so I can definitely do eight of these. I think they're more expensive with this guy. And then as many of these as I can afford, six. Not gonna be able to do any leveling up, but that's okay. Oh wait, I don't need to go back. I don't need to go to that bonfire because I'm not going to Anna Orlando next, right? What am I doing next? Suicide mission for the very large ember. Um, I could fight four kings. I could try that at low level. I could go do the catacombs. I will clear the uh, the catacombs. So, I mean, go through the catacombs next, just for shits and giggles, like just to do something in an unusual way. And to get the right of kindling, which is useful. So, so first we're gonna. I want a divine bandit knife. I want a. Do I want the plus six balder side sword? Not yet. Okay. Then I want to reinforce. I can afford to make my divine knife plus one, so I'll do that. I want to reinforce my Black Bow of Ferris. And this is now my primary weapon and should out damage my compound bow by quite a bit. I can get up to a plus nine. That's real good actually. So we'll see if it out damages. It does a lot less damage, but let's see. Uh, yeah. So composite bow does 110 plus 154. So I'm gonna switch that out for this guy, which does, whoops. Ooh, yeah, um, does 64 plus 196. Is that more? Yeah, it's a little, um, it's about the same actually, but gonna have better range and more incentive to uh, actually upgrade my uh, my dexterity. So in the next episode, and I want to go get those souls so I can upgrade this to plus 10 actually. 
um, go ahead and get the catacomb souls. So, uh, yeah, so thank you for watching. Uh, like, great, subscribe. Thank you to Mr. Pancakes who helped me out during that invasion. And uh, listen to the podcast and uh, comments. You know, remember I record these in advance, but your comments are welcome. I'll interact with them. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Hey!